Hey everybody, this is Frostbite for Pernell, and welcome back for more Classic Mode. We are bringing on my Metal Mario! This, this, could, this fight can actually be really annoying or really easy. <laughs> what am I doing? I just love doing that trick so much. Now, your best bet when fighting this guy is usually... Sometimes not even smashes, like most of the time you want to do grabs. It can really set him off. Oh man. But look at this. He has like 163% and I'm barely knocking him off the ground. Oh man. Just gonna keep on throwing that at him. Why did I just do that? Oh man, that was that was totally my fault. Wow, that was awesome. So as I said in the last episode, this could either take me This could either get me one character or two. If one, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get through this game even faster. Jeez, that's gonna be tough. Oh man. Just run away from these guys. Like there's no point in fighting it. There's like no reason to fight them. Just a waste of your time. Oh, Shizer, I was not doing that right. Hi there, Pikachu! I love the fight. I love the polygons in this game. I wish they would have kept with them instead of the alloys and the wireframes. I mean, they're cool ideas. But, I still think the polygons were the coolest. That was kind of gross. Team. Oh, he didn't even finish saying that. Does he not say uh, fighting Polygon team in this game? Now these guys are a little bit harder to kill. It's okay to still use this method. But that gets so boring. Seriously? Oh, hi there, Jigglypuff. Falcon. I'm surprised that those actually show up. Now I find that weird that that one that I was just right next to is actually Kirby. Some of these really weird. Oh, that dude, that was awesome. This is uh. By far my favorite Smash Bros out of all of them, honestly. I know this is kind of weird to say, but it just is. Like, for me, it goes this game. Are you gonna do something, Clefairy? You're just gonna kinda jump around everywhere like an idiot? Wow, okay. I'm gonna keep on throwing this bad boy at people. Yep. Perfect trajectory. I love it when you do that, you just feel like a total badass when it's over. And the last one. Oh, hi there, Ness. Come on, get down here. Man, just, I want to hit you with the, with the bat, okay? I just wanted to hit you with the bat. That's all I wanted to do. And now you done ruined it, okay? You done ruined it. Hi there, Master Hand. So, okay. I actually have a theory for this game, and I told Switzerland about this. And I think it makes a lot of sense. And I have a lot of fun when I'm make theories, you know? Although the theory is quite ruined once. Smack- Oh, man. I hate that finger pointing move. Like, that's, that's one move that I always hate. Although the theory is quite ruined once Melee comes in, but my friend Switzerland came up with a cool idea, too, after that. I can follow my theory, so. The theory is that we are fighting the hand. At the beginning of the intro, we were all plushies. That means this kid 
is just playing with the toys. And the right hand is his hand, and he's using the left hand to play with the toys, right? And he makes all the stages on his desk and everything. So it's just literally him playing by himself. Because that's why he's not in versus mode, is because he has to control with both hands on both of the characters. Oh, shizer, that was an awesome dodge. Um, But yeah, that's, that's pretty much my thoughts on this game. We're just in some some kid's imagination because like even him oh my god I fell and I lived like a boss we're just basically playing in this kid's imagination he can't be in the and he's also like you notice that he's also the voice of like you know the versus mode and everything he's, he's the voice of everything even in its ma and the voice matches up with the master hand when you're fighting him. I just found that kind of a cool theory, which I actually made up myself. <laughs> so I'm kind of proud of that. And he's like, I'm done with my playing with my toys. I think it's time to go outside. Yeah, that's that theory is kind of ruined though by the time it hits uh. Remember when we came a challenge that you had to shoot all these in frickin' frickin' uh <laughs> Charles Martinet, I love you! <laughs> Remember when we came a challenge in melee that you had to shoot all these? Maybe one day I'll record myself doing that. But I don't know anybody who has melee, so. They gave their, they gave their thanks to Yoshiyuki Tagawa. He didn't even work on the game. He it's just his name had Yoshi in it. They wanted to thank him for that. <laughs> they wanted to thank his parents for giving him that name. Shigeru Miyamoto, love you, man. So yes, my theory, all that end of classic mode, and we're unlocking two characters today. There's a good chance I might not even unlock this guy though, because he's really hard to, to fight. Or he won't be. I don't know. I think he's hard. Oh, Taking more damage than he is right now. I just find it kind of weird that they put him in Samus's stage though. Come on. Oh, shit. oh my god. Yeah, that's right. Just die. Game set. We have officially hate. Whoa! I can only unlock one character? Wow, I thought it could be two. That's so weird. Well, I've hit, like, nine minutes now. Um, alright, so I guess the next episode we'll be unlocking the character I intended to unlock. Whoa, hi there, lag. So I guess we unlock Captain Falcon. I hope we can unlock the character I intended to unlock last time. <laughs> and I guess we'll use Luigi for it. Although I wanted to use Luigi to unlock this dude over here, but whatever. So, I will see you all next time for more Super Mario Smash Bros. Huzzah!